Reptiles are cold-blooded animals and one of the strongest survivors in the animal kingdom. Thing is, there are a lot of myths and misconceptions about these amazing creatures. These are one of the most controversial animals to defend, but I do not care. I will defend all wildlife until I am put into a six foot deep hole. There are tons of beautiful animals in the world, but many of them are misunderstood. In this show, I'm going to show you the truth about these beautiful animals that many people fear and think that are useless and evil. There are over 11,000 species of reptiles. Reptiles consist of crocodilians, snakes, lizards, teratoras, and turtles. There are many reptiles that do cause harm to people. That, with being misunderstood from the lack of education, has caused people to believe that these animals are evil, useless monsters that should just be killed right off the bat. Truth is, no animal is evil or a monster. They are just simply trying to survive and really just want to be left alone. Also, they are not useless. Reptiles are one of the most, if not the most, important predator in the food chain, depending on where they live. Crocodiles and alligators are listed as a keenstone species. One of the most misunderstood snakes is the infamous black mamba. This slender snake is the fastest snake in the entire world, slivering at speeds of 10 to 11 miles per hour. What they use their speed for is for hunting and slivering away from threats. It is not for chasing after people. They do not do that. No snake does that. There is a myth that these snakes intentionally go after us. They do not. They can be sometimes found in villages, which was their habitat before we got in there and started building. Rats, the black mamba's favorite food, will go into the farms in the villages because of the crops that they eat. The snake will look for rodents at the village and people will meet them. The mamba sees a large predator and they think it is a threat. They will try to get away, but if cornered, they will rise their head, flatten their neck, and open their mouth to look threatening so that the predator will go away. The snake's venom is a neurotoxin that shuts down the respiratory system. Death can happen in 7 to 15 hours. The snake always envenomates when it bites, the only snake to do so. The black mamba isn't evil, it is just trying to defend itself. The black mamba is the second longest venomous snake in the world, on average grown to be 6 to 7 feet in length and are gray or brown in color. They get their name from their black mouth. These animals are both arboreal and terrestrial. They also are diurnal. Like the black mamba, the spitting cobra is trying to defend itself with its neurotoxic venom from people. But what is unique is their way of defense. The cobra spits at predators with perfect aim in their eyes. The venom can cause the animal to go blind and also cause a skin irritation. It is not used to hunt by stunning their prey. It is only used as self-defense. Not all spitting cobras are part of the Naja or cobra genus. That species is the ring cows. They just share the hood and spitting abilities. These animals live in Africa and Asia, and they vary in size. They can spit from six feet away. Bites usually don't happen. The Gila monster has a reputation of being an aggressive killer. The truth is, these are rather shy lizards, and their venom is not life-threatening in any way. People who have worked with these animals will tell you that if a Gila monster bites you, it really is your fault. You would have really had to annoy these lizards or just be in the wrong spot for you to have gotten bitten by one. These animals grow to be two feet long and are red and black or orange and black in color. The one of the few species of lizards to have venom lives in the deserts of southwestern US and northwestern Mexico. When they bite, they lock on to the predator until they feel that they need to let go. Their venom is produced in modified salivary glands in the lower jaw and venom is released by chewing into the victim. These animals eat eggs, small animals like mammals, frogs, lizards, and insects. They are also scavengers. They crush the animal to death so that it can be swallowed whole and they are swallowed head first. Their breeding season occurs in May and June and they lay 12 eggs. In the wild, they can live for 20 years. Reptiles are not devils. They aren't monsters. They are living, feeling, thinking individuals who are just trying to survive. These animals do not deserve to be killed or brought to extinction. These deserve to be respected, left alone, and admired from a distance. They are incredible.